What's going on everyone? The SAT November results are here and we are going to talk about how the SAT November exam was for every single student who took it. Before I talk about the November SAT, I know a lot of my audience is interested in computer science and for you all, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University for what they are about to bring to you all. If you ever feel like your experience is holding you back from getting the career you want, that is where Southern New Hampshire University is about to save the day. SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the entire country, and they even have computer science programs for all your computer science enthusiasts. In their computer science program, you'll gain all, all the necessary skill you need to become a strong programmer. You learn popular programming languages such as Python, Java, C++, and further expand your toolbox with experience in full stack development, which goes a long way, especially in computer science internships. I mentioned you also learn cloud integration using JavaScript, NoSQL, and Amazon Web Services. Like that's amazing. If you're struggling with technology, well, Southern New Hampshire University also provides cloud-based virtual environments in some of the courses that you can use to basically jump circumvent that obstacle. Last but not least, the rates are extremely affordable, some of the lowest in the nation. So go check out my link in the description below to see what the current annual salary for the computer science program is and request any free information you want about the program. And when you request information, a real person, not a machine, but a real person will hop on a call and discuss it with you. Talking about the November SAT, let's talk about the math section first, right? What is the general math consensus? Well, it's something that you guys probably expect, especially if you are a subscriber of mine who, you know, watches my videos, checks out my SD math course, everything, right? Math is easy, right? Everyone was saying that the non-calc and calc are actually super easy. Um, for both the international as well as the you know US based exam. And they were saying that maybe because they are my subscribers, so if they're telling me that, then they must watch my videos, etc., all that stuff. So maybe that's why the math is easy, right? They actually studied and practiced and you know follow the study routines I have laid out, follow all the tips and tips of practice I've been, you know, giving out to you, all that amazing free tips that I'm giving you guys. But let's say the the average student who you know doesn't study as much, they might have struggled on the math section. Right? or even some of my subscribers who actually watch my videos diligently might have still struggled on the math sector now. The chances are pretty low, but they could have. And the reason is, it just comes down to studying, right guys? Because the math section is a section where I said so many times that it's pattern based. If you figure out the pattern and you understand that pattern, you learn that pattern, that pattern will always repeat itself. The SAT is basically the same exam every single year. Yeah, obviously the people change and the, the wordings of the question, the numbers change, but it's the same concept, it's the same stuff that is being tested, right? Literally people in my comment section might say, yo, this man rotation always has the same stuff. Guys, I say that because it's the same stuff. It's the same stuff you have to use. You know, there might be some, what is that noise? There might be some changes here and there, but overall it's the same thing, the same patterns. Yo, I think that's them telling me that the math section was easy. Now, I don't want you all to get discouraged. If you did struggle on the math section, you might be like, dang, like, Am I stupid? Am I dumb? No, God, that's not it. Everyone has their bad testing days, right? So if you studied and you didn't get the score you want or you didn't, you don't feel like, you know, you did well on the exam, it's probably just, you know, a bad testing day. Maybe you just got unlucky. You woke up on the wrong side of the bed and you can always take the next SAT, which is December. And we'll talk about that later in the video. Now we can talk about the reading SAT, right? The, the reading section slash writing. So both comprehension and writing. How, what was the general consensus on that? Well, based on all the responses I got from, you know, my many subscribers and like people who follow me, uh, it was actually very mixed. I I've seen both like hard, no, not, not like super hard. No one has ever said it's super hard, but they did say, you know, it was kind of challenging, right? Some of the readings were a little bit challenging, but at the same time, some of the other readings were pretty easy, right? Um, so it was mixed. It, I guess it depends on what's your strong suit. Some people are stronger, you know, at reading science, some are stronger at reading history. So it really just depends on what is your strong suit, right? Uh, if you're good at reading science and the science passages were easier, then you know you probably got a higher reading science score. But if you struggle on history, then your score probably won't be as high. So it just cancels out. You might end up with like a 600 some score. Now, if you thought the reading was easy, hopefully you know you thinking it's easy means you got a lot of the questions correct. It will suck if you think it's easy and end up getting all the questions wrong. Then you just messed up completely but if you thought the reading was easy and you find out that your score was good then good job for you right i've never walked out of the sat i think ever saying the reading was easy um at most i would say it was challenging because i always struggle with reading guys i tell you guys all this time i got a 740 on the reading section um yeah i don't know how i still don't know how i guess it's a, some of the small tips and the small patterns that you recognize even the reading section because 
For those who don't know, the reading session does have some patterns that you can follow like for inference questions. So the overall consensus for the reading session is that it's very, you know, dependent on practice, right? If you thought it was hard, you probably didn't practice reading as much. If you thought it was easy, then you probably excelled at reading. And the writing section was collectively easy. Everyone said the writing section was not that hard. It was mainly comprehension section. So the writing section, guys, obviously I wouldn't expect it to be hard because at the end of the day, it's as close to non calc in terms of the math section because it's the same rules you use for every single question. Right? It's the same stuff, same approach. So if you're able to get it once, you should be able to get it as many times as you want. Yeah, and now I want to talk about something a little interesting. So if you guys haven't watched these type of review videos in the past, my comment section is always full of people talking about how the ST was. Guys, you are free to do that. Now I'm not saying you should, or I'm encouraging you to wink, wink, but hey, I can't control you guys. So if you want to talk about, you know, how you felt with the SAT with other people and you want to see that, hey, did you do bad, did you do good? Feel free to ask away in the comment section. I might even hop in the discussion too. Okay, now a quick preparation guide for the December SAT because it is next month and it is the last SAT of the year, everyone. So if you're trying to improve your SAT score this year, this is it. This is your last chance. After this, you gotta wait till March of next year, which is kind of long time. And you'll probably be taking the digital SAT. And I'll make a video on that next. So the best preparation you got for December SAT, and I'll you know make an in-depth video for that as well, is to make sure you you know study math and reading. I'll do a two-day split for math, two-day split for reading, and then a practice test once a week at the minimum, maybe twice a week. That way you can gauge your score. Just remember, guys, this is the last SAT you probably will be able to take. So I want you guys to make sure that you are getting, you know, the practice you need so you can get the score you want. Because if you mess up this time, it's, it's over, right? <laughs> like you gotta wait till March. And I know if you're a senior in college, then you know this is your last chance to get your score up before regular decision application deadline. So hopefully, you know, you get what you need to do. Check out my math course description below. Um, check out SD Math Notes and check out Southern New Hampshire University if you're a computer science enthusiast as well. Thank you all for watching. Peace.